Hey friends, the five minute quickie. And it is only, it's only going to be a short one. Get it right, Cluffy. And it's called, well, there's always another, another way. And why am I saying that? Because it's, a, I just want you to remind you, I get it a lot. You see, when we muck up and we say those things, have you ever done this? You do something. You do something and you say to yourself, that split second after, what the hell was I thinking? What was I thinking about? Why did I do that? That wasn't me. Have you had that? I get that quite a few times a day. And I also say those immortal words in my brain anyway. And I sometimes stay, say it out loud. Cluffy, you're a dick. And then I start to berate myself. Have you done that? Telling ourselves the worst possible things about ourselves. I mean, it's not endearing. It's not supportive, is it? You wouldn't say it to your bestest best friend, would you? Because if it was your best best friend who had been a dick, didn't do something that they didn't think about right, or, you know, you would support them, wouldn't you? You would support them. And the problem is, when we, we berate ourselves so badly, does a number of things. It affects your emotion, doesn't it? Because you either get angry, then you get sad or guilty, all that blooming stuff. And that emotion is linked. It's linked to the pictures in your mind. So you start seeing the world differently. And it's also linked to your physiology. So we either get too tense or we get cross or we start to move around. Everything creates the behavior we don't want. Have you had that? Remember times, maybe. If you could just remember a time on the, in the past when you've done that before. It doesn't have to be big, but you did it. It wasn't good, was it? Did it have the desired effect to pick you up and create something better? Did it balls? It didn't, did it? All it did was to continue to frustrate you, I guess. If it's like me, I start with that bit of frustration about myself. And then I get more angry. And then I take it out on the people I love. And then I do another mistake because I'm not thinking. I'm still thinking about that other bloody stuff. And that's not enabling me, enabling, get it right, Cluffy, to focus on what's really right. Setting a good intention. Deciding what I want to do. The consequences of doing it. Because that's what, what it was. We just didn't think about the consequences. We acted just like that. But the thing is, if we just stopped, even, you know, ask those questions, what was I thinking about? Or what wasn't I thinking about? What was I intending to do? Not why did I do it, but what was I intending to do? And then think to yourself, okay, you see, there's always another day to start again. There's always another hour to start again. There's always another minute. There's always right now we can start again because that's because you're learning now. What was I thinking? How could I think better? What, why did I do that? No, what did I do and what was I intending to do? What's the difference? How could I be different next time? And set your intention to just do a little bit better. And when we learn from that thing of the past, you're really using everything about you to get what you want in the future. And I think that's a, a great thing to do. What do you think? Think about times in the past when you've done that. Right now, right now, could you have done it better? Could you have done it better? And if so, how could you have done it better? Just this, for this moment. Well, I could have taken a breath before I started. Well, actually, just before I jumped into it, I could have thought, well, is there a better way? Is there a better way to get what I want? Little things like that, just to stop and pause. You know, I love stopping and pausing. It just gives you time to get all the skills you need in one place. 
as opposed to, well, that wasn't me, because it bloody was you, but you weren't thinking. And there is always another day, another hour, another minute to make this life better. Learning from the past and crew, bringing in the future right now and doing the stuff you want to do. So that's it for me. The five minute quickie is where we like to just muse about stuff, get you to think a little bit. And really it's getting me to think because I'm remembering this stuff and thinking, got to do, do better next time. I wonder how I could do that. Good questions will create good answers. So there you go. If you enjoyed this, please share. I love it when you share this. I'm getting some great feedback now. Please do share with, with one or two people, if not everybody. And don't have that accidental press on the subscribe button. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you not to do that right now, okay? And have more fun than you can stand. Until the next time, my friend. It's Paul, your five-minute quickie of the personal development, unplugged podcast kind. Shine and fly. Bye-bye now. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged. Hey, welcome to the 5-Minute Quickie. And if you're new here, just a little explanation what a 5-Minute Quickie podcast is with the Personal Development Unplugged podcast. But it's basically me just musing and hopefully getting you to muse, to think. Think about different things just over say five minutes and maybe you'll take them away those thoughts develop them and maybe we can develop them together in a longer podcast sometimes they'll be well they're never five minutes i tell you that now or very rarely there may even be a little process there i don't know but it's things that i've come across read heard and just something i want to share with you just to well to think and to probe and get ourselves in a way that we can just keep striving to be that little bit different, a little bit better, so we can be the change we want to see in others and be the change we want to be in ourselves. Just a thought. Just becoming aware of maybe what is new, what we can do. When we start thinking of things like that, I believe it means we start to create those things as well. Because you have a feeling. The feeling that those thoughts generate and that feeling will, I think, resonate in into action and results. Anyway, that's a quick roundup intro of the 5-Minute Quickie.